Recent research indicates that Earth's inner core, a solid iron-nickel sphere, has experienced variations in its rotational speed relative to the planet's surface. Studies suggest that the inner core's rotation has slowed and may have reversed direction compared to the Earth's mantle and crust. Science News, the inner core's movement is influenced by interactions between Earth's magnetic field and gravitational forces from the mantle and outer core. These forces create a complex dynamic that affects the core's rotational speed, seismic data from earthquakes, and historical nuclear tests have been instrumental in detecting these subtle changes in the inner core's behavior. This finding enhances our comprehension of the intricate processes occurring deep within our planet. According to CNN Science, Earth's core has slowed so much it's moving backward, scientists confirm. One promising model proposed in 2023 described an inner core that in the past had spun faster than Earth itself, but was now spinning slower. For a while, the scientists reported the core's rotation matched Earth's spin. Then it slowed even more, until the core was moving backward relative to the fluid layers around it. At the time, some experts cautioned that more data was needed to bolster this conclusion, and now another team of scientists has delivered compelling new evidence for this hypothesis about the inner core's rotation rate. Research published June 12th in the journal Nature not only confirms the core slowdown, it supports the 2023 proposal that this core deceleration is part of a decades-long pattern of slowing down and speeding up. By tracking seismic waves from earthquakes that have passed through the Earth's inner core along similar paths since 1964, the authors of the 2023 study found that the spin followed a 70-year cycle. By the 1970s, the inner core was spinning a little faster than the planet. It slowed around 2008 and from 2008 to 2023 began moving slightly in reverse relative to the mantle. Changes in core spin, though they can be tracked and measured, are all but imperceptible to people on Earth's surface, Vidal said. When the core spins more slowly, the mantle speeds up. This shift makes Earth rotate faster and the length of a day shortens. But such rotational shifts translate to mere thousands of a second in day length, he said. This article is from the New York Post. Earth's magnetic north pole is moving toward Russia. Here's what it means. Earth's magnetic north pole is on an unprecedented journey toward Russia, a shift that has accelerated since the 1990s. Historically anchored near northern Canada, the pole began drifting into the Arctic Ocean before veering toward Siberia. This movement, once a gradual six miles per year, surged to 34 miles annually in the 2000s and has recently slowed to 22 miles per year. New York Post researchers from the University of Leeds, led by Professor Phil Livermore, suggest this erratic behavior stems from a magnetic tug of war beneath Earth's surface. Two dominant magnetic forces, one under Canada and another beneath Siberia, are vying for supremacy. The Canadian force has weakened and split, allowing the Siberian force to gain strength, pulling the magnetic pole toward Russia. New York Post William Brown, a geomagnetic field modeler at the British Geological Survey, likens the core's dynamics to a giant cup of tea, emphasizing the complexity and volatility of these subterranean currents. New York Post, the implications of this magnetic migration are profound. Compasses, which rely on magnetic north for navigation, may become increasingly unreliable, affecting everything from smartphone GPS systems to aviation routes. Moreover, the weakening magnetic field could expose Earth to heightened levels of solar radiation, potentially disrupting power grids and communication networks. As scientists strive to understand these rapid changes, the question looms, are we prepared for the consequences of a shifting magnetic world? From live science, the sun has entered its most volatile phase, known as the solar maximum earlier than anticipated and more intense than forecasted, with scientists now confirming that this period of heightened solar activity is well underway. This phase, characterized by an increase in sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections poses significant risks to Earth's technological infrastructure. Live science recent observations have recorded a surge in sunspot numbers, reaching levels not seen in over two decades. These dark regions on the sun's surface are precursors to solar flares, intense bursts of radiation capable of disrupting satellite communications, GPS systems, and power grids. The unpredictability of these events adds to the growing concern among experts. Live science in October 2024, the sun unleashed an X9-class solar flare, the most powerful since 2017, 
accompanied by a coronal mass ejection directed toward Earth. Such events can trigger geomagnetic storms, leading to widespread technological disruptions and posing a threat to astronauts in space. Live science, the early onset of the solar maximum, has caught many by surprise, with initial predictions suggesting a later start. This unexpected escalation underscores the challenges in forecasting solar behavior and the potential for unforeseen consequences. Live science, as the sun's activity continues to intensify, the potential for severe space weather events looms large. What's the missing link? The Earth is transforming before our eyes, and the signs are impossible to ignore. Extreme weather patterns intensify. Hurricanes, floods, and droughts devastate regions with alarming frequency. Volcanoes awaken, oceans heat to unprecedented levels, and the sun's rays feel more piercing than ever. The magnetosphere, our planet's protective shield, is weakening. Scientists have even confirmed the Earth's core is slowing down a mystery that could have far-reaching implications. Meanwhile, whispers of a potential Planet Nine lurking on the fringes of our solar system fuel speculation about unseen cosmic forces influencing us. Could there be a connection? Are these events random? Or are we experiencing the same celestial phenomena that our ancestors observed and encoded into mythology? Ancient civilizations often look to the heavens for signs, interpreting planetary alignments, fiery comets, and unusual solar activity as omens of great change. What if their stories, dismissed as mere legend, were warnings or records of cycles repeating? Whether these changes are the result of natural planetary cycles, celestial influence, or something more mysterious, we are living through a pivotal moment in Earth's history. It's a humbling, awe-inspiring time to be alive, a time that echoes the stories of the past while shaping our future. Whatever the truth may be, I am grateful to share this journey with you, to witness the unraveling of the extraordinary and the interconnectedness of our world and beyond. Thank you for watching ESN IC News, your source for rapid fire news.